Okay, I'm going to say this again. You see, sometimes we don't think that we're doing anything and sometimes we do more jealous, we do more harm than good. Sometimes you can unravel things that you shouldn't unravel because whatever was closed up is because God knew it was closed in the first place and he meant it to be closed. But when we want to un unravel it, then chaos come. Confusion, lack of trust, lies, deceit, um, slander. What comes about is untruth. If a person is so willing to run their run uh their own family down and and not one stand up and say that's wrong, you just as guilty as that person that spoke it. There is nothing under the sun that God does not know about. Sometimes he allows things, but see, he allows things is because he already knew it was gonna happen before it happened. But sometimes we as individual try to step out of, into the spiritual world unprotected and try to control what God already got under control. What I'm saying is people tend to want to pretend that they're God and that God has told them to speak out of character, out of line, as if they're in authority because of age. Age does not put you in authority when it comes to doing wrong. God doesn't have anything to do with division, period. But what gets me is, is families that are break up families in Speak all the things that they think and forgot, forget when they get to unraveling, they're unraveling their life too. When they're unraveling another sibling, another husband or wife, it doesn't make a difference, a cousin. When you unravel, you'll get to unraveling everything. So you're unraveling a sibling from you. You're disconnecting and you're disconnecting the family. But yet still... You forget. You are out of wedlock. May not be your, you may not be who you think you are too. And then when you find fault and you look at the history of the firstborn, everybody's out of wedlock. Some kind of way that first child is. Why is that? And sometimes it's more than that. But you speak ill of on somebody that's tied and connected it, and you try to disconnect. The mother is the connection. You can't disconnect that. You can try. You can disconnect the family because they are ignorant and they do not know no better. But be careful how you you dissemble your family. God put everybody who they are and where they're supposed to be, whether they by blood or not. Whether they have blood, full blood, a quarter blood. He has everybody in position to where he wants. And you put generation curses when you're condemning your family. That's not of God, no matter how you look at it. 